Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Paint With Me episode. Today we are going to be painting this beautiful, uh, I guess, flower field fairy. I don't really know uh, what I'm calling her yet. Normally, I like to focus on one or two topics of conversation for my videos, but I'm feeling kind of random this week. We are interrupting this regularly scheduled program to tell you to go check out my Etsy shop. Since fairies have overtaken my sketchbook and my life, my shop has become the ultimate fairy lover's dream. With products ranging from stickers, pins, and prints to original paintings, I've got it all. All of my stickers are printed on waterproof vinyl, and my prints are on high quality, durable, matte photo paper. So if you're watching this video, there's probably a fairy that's perfect for you. Whether you're looking for stickers, prints, paintings, or pins, head to www.etsy.com slash shop slash studio. Thank you for sitting through that and listening. Uh, so as I mentioned, I'm feeling like a little bit random this week. Uh, I had midterms, which uh, if you're not in art school or art college or whatever, that just means, uh, like, papers and also big projects. So, uh, that's, that's what I've been doing. It hasn't been quite as bad this semester because I'm taking a reasonable number of classes, um, and I'm not, uh, in classes that I think are, like, crazy hard, although my photography midterm, um, as one might call it, he didn't really refer to it as a midterm, but I I'm thinking of it as one. Anyway, uh, was, was kind of killer for me. Um, but I think I complicated it more than I had to. It was, it was already going to be a big project, like a big deal. Um, but I, I think I made it much worse on myself, uh, just by, um, wanting to <laughs> photograph myself for the project. Um, so we were supposed to take portraits with different camera settings, uh, specifically we were working with like depth of field, and I decided I wanted to do self-portraits, and if you've never tried to take photos of yourself with a DSLR, um, it can be a little tricky, like some, some DSLRs have cameras that flip around, but mine doesn't, so, um, you know, my photos would turn out one way or another, and I would be like, good enough, um, and I just rolled with it. <laughs> and it's not like I don't like how my photos turned out, I do think quite a few of them actually turned out pretty good. Um, I'm not sure how I'll be graded on it, because I'm not sure that my professor wanted us to do self-portraits, but, uh, I didn't, I didn't ask, I just did it because I didn't feel like asking, uh, like, any of my friends or family members to let me take, like, an unreasonable number of photos of them, because we were only supposed to use a grand total of two models, so, um, I, it wasn't like I could just go out and ask random people if I could take a photo or two of them, it was like I had to sit down with someone in their busy week and try to find a time with good light in the middle of February in New England <laughs> and try to take good pictures of them. It's, it was just not a good time for that kind of project, I think. But it's over now, which thank God, and it'll be, I'll be in hell again uh, with my next project, I'm sure. I mean, I'm enjoying the class. It's a good class. I'm just, I'm, I don't love working with my DSLR, that's all. I make my videos with an iPhone and then I uh, airdrop the footage over to my iPad to splice it all up and put it together and then I like put it on my laptop uh, for voiceover uh, and adding music and all that. Um, so you know it's um, I, I avoid DSLRs. I feel like I don't need to film with a DSLR to make good videos. Uh, there are certainly some things that I think I could do better, uh, but I think that more has to do with my, my editing capabilities and nothing to do with, like, what camera I use. So yeah, needless to say, I just don't have the, uh, natural aptitude yet for f photography. Um, but, you know, I'm learning and there are things that I've learned, uh, 
so far that have helped me with my video making process, specifically like selecting entire rows of files to import uh, to my editing programs and like being organized and naming files and all that. That was just something that I think I lacked uh, before starting this class, uh, which is nice. I, I do talk a lot on this channel about the things that I learn in my classes, uh, but it's important for me because, you know, uh, in these videos I just kind of brain dump, um, and I, I think it's cool to be able to share that with you guys, uh, because not everyone has the opportunity to, like, go to college, uh, especially for an arts degree. In one of my other classes, we're doing welding, um, which I actually can't do, uh, fun fact, um, because during the demonstration, uh, I had some of my chronic migraine symptoms flare up, which was a lot of fun. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't terrible, um, and the only people that knew about my symptoms, like, flaring up from that, uh, was one of my friends in the class, um, and any anyone that, like, overheard me complaining to her about it, um, <laughs> But yeah, um, I ended up emailing my professor and be like, please, can I do something else? I don't want to, I don't want to weld. It makes me feel sick. Um, and he was fine with that. He said I could solder, um, which so far has been an adventure. Um, soldering is, is, uh, I mean, it's weird. I've seen people solder before, but I never really put two and two together how to actually do it. Um, and I think I'm going to have to buy my own soldering iron because the one that's in the classroom doesn't seem to heat up very well. Um, also I just have to figure out what I'm doing because I realized when I was trying to solder, um, you're, you're supposed to let the iron heat up the metal, um, uh, and then you apply the solder to the metal and it'll, it'll, like, be drawn towards the heat of the iron if that makes sense. And I just wasn't getting that. I don't know why I wasn't getting that, if it was my, you know, anxiety about it all or what. I don't know. Um, but I'm excited to, to try. I'm going to make um, lily pads and lotus flowers uh, out of wire and solder. So that'll be really fun. It actually kind of worked out to do soldering uh, for my project because uh, my idea was to use wire to make it like very delicate but um i don't think that idea would have worked as well with welding i probably would have had to uh use like metal strips or something instead of wire i don't really know um but i wouldn't have been able to use my my very fine like jewelry wire or whatever for it uh just because i think if i were to try to weld it that would just blow the wire away it would just melt into nothing um, so this kind of works out my third class um, is a drawing like advanced drawing class um, and that one has been pretty fun so far um, although I have to use colored pencils on my current assignment and I don't really love colored pencils um, I like it better than charcoal I hate charcoal for those who don't don't know I mean it's not it's not like I can't use it at all or don't use it when I want to use it like I, there are times when I want to use charcoal like in my sketchbook just to to mess around you know but it's so messy that I don't really want to pull it out very often like I like gouache and watercolor because you know they don't really stain anything you can get it up I mean I literally I once spilled a cup of lilac gouache all over uh, the the carpet in my house, and um, no one no one ever found out about that. No one ever found out. <laughs> I got it up. <laughs> it literally it did not matter. Um, I don't think that would be the case with charcoal, which is why I don't like it. It gets all over my hands. It gets all over my clothes, and it just stays with you all day. Um, it's pretty. It's pretty messy. Um, you look like you just came out of the coal mines or something. Like you're, you're, you're like some I don't know industrial revolution peasant who can barely afford housing. 
um, or whatever. But gouache, you know, gouache is nice and, and clean and neat and it comes up with a wet paper towel and all that. <laughs> And colored pencils drive me crazy, specifically because I constantly have to sharpen them. And you have to press so hard just to get any kind of like pigmentation really down. I mean, we're working with pretty nice colored pencils and I just feel like in order to get things to look smooth and nice and vibrant, you have to really press down hard and there's no way you can make things lighter at all. Like, once colored pencil goes down on Bristol board or whatever you're using, um, it's, it stays there. It's stuck there. It doesn't move. There's no way to erase it. There's no amount of prayer that can get it to move at all. <laughs> Which I hate. I make so many mistakes when I'm drawing. So many. You would not believe the amount of mistakes that I just cover up and pretend aren't there. Um, actually, you might, you guys might believe it because you literally you're watching me paint right now and I've probably made a million mistakes but with colored pencil your your sins are out for everyone to see it's terrible it's horrible I don't like it very much at all but on the bright side I do prefer it to charcoal so you know uh there's that at least it's colorful you know uh which is which is a big plus for me personally I don't even hate how my drawing's turning out with colored pencil, like I'm actually like going along and I'm like kind of proud of how things are going, but um, you know, there's still, I can still be mad while I'm, while I'm doing it. I could still be like physically, viscerally angry that I must work with colored pencils <laughs> while I'm working on it. But uh, I've learned to, to cope by going on YouTube um, and searching for, for video essays. Um, and this is something I've been doing since the fall. Um, last fall, for example, I found, um, a video essay about, like, Star Wars movies, <laughs> um, and I just watched it over the course of, like, several classes, um, and, uh, yeah, I got, I got through this guy's, you know, summary of every single Star Wars movie. It was pretty good. And then my recent obsession has been um, Attack on Titan video essays because I believe I mentioned this in a previous paint with me, but I finished Attack on Titan um, in its entirety, finally. And I am still in so much emotional pain. I am, I'm not recovered yet. And I was like, what if I rewatched it again? And then I was like, I'm gonna hate myself if I do that. I'll quit rewatching it like halfway through or something. Um, so I just decided, you know, video essays were an appropriate way to cope, and so in my little drawing class, I'd get out my little earbuds, I'd put them in, I would pull out my colored pencils and, and go to YouTube and save just hours upon hours worth of Attack on Titan video essays, and, uh, there are a lot of them, which for some reason I did not expect. I don't know why I didn't expect it's, expect it, it's like the one of the more popular anime of the past like you know five to ten years <laughs> or whatever um like it's been popular for a long time so there there could be a lot of content around it uh, available but and is especially since it's such a complicated series but anyway i've already watched like probably six hours worth of attack on titan video essays and i'm gonna watch more um I'm just gonna keep watching them until I'm sick of it and until I hate it and then I'll stop for like a while until one day I remember how much I love Attack on Titan and decide to rewatch it or something. Which, you know, I mean, maybe maybe that's not possible. Maybe it would be better just to go and rewatch everything. I don't really know. Um, I, I don't really watch as much anime as I, as I used to. You know, um, I used to keep up with quite a few series. Um, but these days I'm like a lot more picky with what I watch. I am still fond of all the media that I used to keep up with and I still love it. I'm just, I don't know if lazy is the right word, but it's almost like I'm averse to like uh, catching up on things that I'm behind on, if that makes sense. Like, like at one point I was going to try to catch up on Demon Slayer because that's a series that I really love the art style animation and story for. Um, I really love all the characters. I honestly, all of them have my heart and soul. Um, 
I just I don't want to watch the movie like the I don't know what it's called the train the train movie I don't I tried to sit through it I couldn't it was kind of boring if I'm being honest and I'm so sorry if any Demon Slayer fans are gonna come at me for that I wonder if it would be like if I would be too far behind if I just like skipped over it I don't know um I didn't get very far in it, so maybe I'll give it another go soon. I don't know. Um, it's been a couple years, and I'm kind of starved for the beautiful animation that, uh, you know, anime brings to the table, so to speak. I guess maybe the thing for me is I like to watch stuff uh, in the background while I draw, and um, I don't usually watch dub anime. Um, I watch the Japanese version with subtitles, and I can't really paint uh as fast as usual if i'm also trying to read subtitles so i'm i'm pretty like i don't know uh picky with what i put on uh while i'm trying to focus on my artwork um maybe i just have to find little moments to <laughs> watch my anime i used to also read like a lot of webtoons too i've probably mentioned this before but i was a huge fan of like um let me think here unordinary um and oh my god uh oh cursed princess club i used to love those and there's still you know um series that i think about once in a while but i can't really read webtoons anymore um i really don't read digital comics in general anymore um just because i mean i have i have chronic migraine now so i can't really pull stuff up on on a little screen um and like spend hours reading it or whatever uh, i mean i i know you know, usually once you've caught up with these series they they have short little chapters and all that um but it's more like you know i'd rather take that energy uh and uh stamina so to speak uh for something something else on on a screen rather than like reading a comic uh like doing my schoolwork or scrolling the interwebs or whatever i don't know um i do miss it once in a while because i used to wait for these chapters to drop uh pretty pretty religiously um but i don't know i just i can't i couldn't find like uh the I don't know how else to describe it but like the strength for my poor little eyes i just ended up prioritizing other things i guess i do still on occasion like read uh physical manga and physical books uh not as much as i used to though um like i used to read books pretty much constantly and then uh high school happened and it kind of like killed that joy and also the time that i'd had for it um so that kind of sucks. And I'm still in college, so there's still a lot of required reading and all that. So uh, maybe after college, I'll return to some of my older habits. I know I've kind of gone all over the place with this video, but I did say I was feeling random. So I can't really say that y'all weren't warned. Um, but I do want to say thank you for sitting through all this with me. Uh, I do enjoy ranting to you guys about whatever pops into my head. Um, it's a lot of fun for me and I enjoy reading your comments about it. Um, if you ever have like similar experiences, you like you're in uh, art school slash college um, or you're also dealing with midterms or whatever. Um, yeah, you know, I, I enjoy reading your guys' responses to my videos. It's kind of like having a very nice conversation. And it is like very relaxing for me um, because obviously school can take a lot out of me and uh, I, or anyone really for that matter, but you know, um, and I view making videos as like a way to decompress and like relax and just focus on my artwork and all that. Doing this on a weekly basis has really let me kind of slip into a kind of workflow or routine that works well for me. Um, and it's not as scary to open things in editing programs as maybe it used to be. I kind of know how everything works now and how to uh, get my files where they need to be um, without as many hiccups as maybe there used to be. I mean, obviously things do happen. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I put up a video and um, someone commented that uh, they were wearing headphones and the sound was only coming through one earbud and 
I was sitting here thinking what could cause that and I was like, oh, maybe I only had it set up to come out of one speaker. That's not good. Um, so I apologize for that. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. Um, and thank you guys so much for watching my videos and for all of the support on last week's video, which was a sketchbook tour. Um, right now it has about 2000 views. But real quick before the video ends, I want to say thank you so much to my Kofi supporters, Ashley, Savvy, and Tiffany. Your guys' support means the world to me and allows me to keep making videos like this one, so thank you so, so much. If anyone wants to go and join my Kofi page for all these benefits and more, the link will be in the description box. And that's all I have for this week, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!